So this is the third tutorial in our Arduino set and really it's just to show you how we can expand from where we are at the moment to something that has a bit more relevance and can be interesting for the students to build. So we left it with our red LED flashing um, and pretty much that's where we we've got to. So in this tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to make excessive traffic lights. Um, again a pretty straightforward activity um, but it will show a few more um, skills that you need. So the first thing I'm going to do is just remove my power. Now this is fairly straightforward because it's just three LEDs so I'm going to put in my amber LED. Remembering the long leg is the positive and the short leg of the LED is the um, negative. So the negative leg goes to ground so just plug that into that. Okay, and the third one is going to be my green LED. And again, the negative leg of that will go to the ground. Now what I've got to do is connect them up to the board so that we can provide the inputs. Again, this is going to go to pin 4 and put that into the positive leg of the amber and this is going into pin 3 you can see that there and that is going to go to the green LED okay so there you go we've now got our three LEDs all wired up so the next thing we've got to do is we're going to plug back in our USB power and you see that it's still running our um, blink code that we created before. So now what we want to do is we want to get the sequence of uh, the LEDs correct. So if you think about the sequence of a traffic light, it's, it's red first, then red and amber, then green, then amber and then red. So what we've got at the moment if we go over to the code is the red LED is initialized as 5 and that's integer 5. Now what I want to do is I want to create another integer which is going to be called let's call it amber LED and that's pin 4 and then we've got another one which we'll put in here, which is green. So green LED. And that's number three. So at the moment we've given each of these words a red LED, amber LED, and green LED these values. So then we go into the setup, and at the moment we're only initializing pin five, the red LED, as an output. So what I want to do is I want to create two more outputs. So put one in here. And this is going to be our amber LED. So this just tells it that the digital pin 4 is an output. So what that will actually do is it will drive a 5 volt output and it's high and that in turn will go and power the LED. And the third one that we want to do is our green LED. So let's get that in. Do that this way. Now, what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to make a mistake. Now, you'll notice a couple of things. First of all, there's an obvious sign that I've made a mistake because when it's a command, so pin mode, it changes the color. So, in here, it's just kept it as text, so pin node. What you'll also see when we compile it that that will come out as an error. So if I now run this as a verify, it picks it up and says that this isn't correct. So I can go in and I can change it. And you'll notice that when I change it for a lowercase m, it still isn't correct. So you have to remember to capitalize on certain letters. So that's probably one of the things that students will trip up on most. 
is that they'll think that they've written it correctly, they'll compile it and it'll say that it's not in scape, but it's because they haven't put the right capital letters. Okay, so let's go into our loop routine. So at the moment we've got our red going high for a second. Now, I want these traffic lights to last for three seconds on red. Okay. So at the moment, what we've got here is the red traffic light turned on for three seconds. Now the next thing we want is actually for the red to stay high, so to stay switched on. But we also want to create the amber and put the amber on. So now the amber is going to go high. Now what we need to do is we need to create another delay. And you have to create delays in this loop because if you don't, the code will run it effectively as far as we would be concerned instantaneous. So I'm only going to have this on for one second. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the red LED low at this point, which will switch the red LED off, but we also want to take off the amber LED. So let's take this, put this here, and we're going to turn that low. Now, if you notice here, because it wasn't capitalized, it stayed in that context. So if we put it in capital letters, it will then change color to show you that that is the correct command. And then it will wait a second and then it will loop. So let's just see how that works at the moment. So let's verify it. And then let's upload that into our board. Okay, so that's uploaded. So now the red's on for three seconds, the pair of them on for a second, and then they go off. So the next thing we need to do is get our green LED working. So at the time that the red and the amber go down, so they go low, so switch off, what we actually want to do here is get our green LED to go high. So that will then switch on our green LED. And we want our green LED to stay on for, let's say, three seconds. Okay, so at this point, if we now verify our code and upload it, what we should see is the red comes on for three seconds. The red and amber for one second, they both go off, and then we get the green for three seconds. And then we get, ah, now can we see what's happened here? At no point have we issued the command for the green LED to switch off. So at the moment, the first time that we ran it, it went correct, but now the green LED will not switch off. So after our three second delay, what we need to do is we need to take our green LED. We need to switch it off. So now we switched off our green LED. What would normally happen with a set of lights is that you would get the amber come on to tell you that it's about to go. So the amber's come on. Now we need to put in another delay. Let's put in a delay of uh, one second and the semicolon at the end of each line just shows you that that command is finished and the two backslashes means that you can then write a comment on that line afterwards so you can write comments as to describing what you're doing which is good software practice okay so the amber is high we've delayed it for a second now what we need to do is we need to take the amber low which switch the amber off. Now at this point what we could do is we could say let's put the red LED high which will switch it back on which would make sense but if you look because this is a loop once we get to the end here we go to the start of the loop and the start of the loop we switch the red LED on high so the start of the loop we switch this LED on high so let's just verify 
this code and we should now have a complete set of traffic lights and you'll notice these two the TXRX will flash to show that we have transmitted our data so red for three seconds red and amber green for three seconds amber red so there you go we now have a set of traffic lights